Welcome to Zulua Consultants. In this video, we want to see how the number of moles is linked to four calculations that you can do in chemistry. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and the Facebook page for this and more videos. We know you are going to enjoy this presentation. And if you do so, do not forget to like our video comment on this video, and share this knowledge to your friends. The main objective of this video is to help you see how the number of moles becomes the link when it comes to the number of particles, the concentration, the mass, and the volume in chemistry. So we'll see how you can convert numbers from one of the four to go to the number of moles thereafter change to n of the three that you can be asked. So let's imagine that you have a question that has given you the number of particles and you have been asked to find the mass in grams. What do you do in line with what we have discussed here? So you first have to find the number of moles from the number of particles that you have been given. So let's say, how do we find the number of moles? So to have the number of moles, we are saying we need to have the number of particles, number of particles, and then for you to come from number of particles to number of moles, we are saying we are dividing. So you divide the number of particles with 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. So when you divide the number of particles, dividing it with 6.02 times 10 to the power 23, you have managed to find the number of moles. After you have managed to calculate the number of moles, you can now use the number of moles to calculate the mass. So let's see how you can manage to get the mass, which is in grams. In grams. There, you are going to use the number of moles. So the number of moles. Number of moles. It should be multiplied by the relative molecular mass or the relative atomic mass. So if you have been given a molecule, you will use the relative molecular mass. If you have been given the atom, you use the relative atomic mass. So if you multiply the number of moles with the relative molecular mass or the relative atomic mass, you will manage to calculate the mass in grams. So when you have been given the number of particles. First, convert the number of particles to the number of moles, then you use those number of moles to calculate the mass. Let us use what we have here to answer this question. The question reads, calculate the mass in grams of 1.204 times 10 to the power 24 particles of water thing is to identify what we have been given. So from the question, you can notice that we have been given the number of particles, then we have been asked to calculate the mass. So we are coming from number of particles, then we want to go to the mass. So what are we going to do? The first step is to change the number of particles to the number of moles. So number of moles, number of moles is equal to a number of particles. We are saying this should be divided by 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. So the number of particles, we have the number of particles, which is 1.204 times 10 to the power 24. Then we are dividing this with 
2 times 10 to the power 23. When you divide 1.204 times 10 to the power 24, dividing it with 6.02 times 10 to the power 23, you will get 2 moles of water. So we have managed to use the number of particles using the link to calculate the number of moles of this water. The next thing now is for us to convert the number of moles that we have calculated to mass. Now how do we manage to convert the number of moles to mass? We have this link from number of moles to mass. We are saying you multiply the number of moles with the relative molecular mass or the relative atomic mass. In this question, we have water. Water is a molecule and we write it as H2O. So you need to find the relative molecular mass of water. We have one atom of oxygen multiplied by 16. We get 16. Then we have two atoms of hydrogen multiplied by one. We are getting two. This gives us 18 grams per mole. So this is the mixture of water. Now for us to find the mass, we are saying mass is equal to the number of moles. According to the link, we need to multiply it with the mixture. So the number of moles we calculated is 2 moles multiplied by the mister. We are just from calculating the mister as 18 grams per mole. So if you multiply 2 and 18, it gives you 36 grams. So 36 grams of water, this 36 grams of water is what is available in terms of mass when you look at this question that we were given. So we have managed to come from the number of particles and go to the mass. How have we managed to do this? The first thing is we converted the number of particles to the number of moles, then from the number of moles we convert it to the mass using the link that we have demonstrated here. We hope this video was very helpful and please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and the Facebook page for this and more videos.